international financial markets. So if governments are not interested to tap into that market, then ratings are uh, not very relevant in terms of uh, uh, what a government will need, uh, looking at the cost that is involved in getting one. So uh, if a government has sufficient domestic um, revenues or sources of revenues, alternative to raising money from the international financial market, it can entirely sustain its fiscals without a rating at all. In 2022, a new credit rating agency came up and said that South Africa, which of course is rated junk or sub-investment grade, was actually investment grade. Um, that was the Sovereign Africa ratings based in Gauteng. But does anyone care? Has it changed our fortunes at all? Well, if you think of it in those terms, it might not make a lot of sense. But if you think uh, of it from an investor's perspective, it makes a lot of sense. Because what investors are looking for is information. I'm sure you understand that financial markets is an arena of competition of opinions. So investors do look at uh, the merits of the basis at which uh, the sovereign Africa rating is uh, rating South Africa is a non-investment grade and also at uh, a, you know the arena in which the african uh, the, the south african uh, government would want to raise uh, capital so if there is no much merit in uh, what uh, the rating that is issued by uh, the is a sovereign africa rating uh, is not very relevant to what investors are looking for then they might not uh, see the sense in it